Hello, my name is Cecile Eigenman. I'm the Live for a Child Education Manager. I'm a registered nurse and credential diabetes educator. And today I would like to show you how to use the Humapen Ergo 2. Please be aware that this pen can only be used for Lily insulins. When you open the box, you will find an instruction leaflet. Please read it carefully as it contains important information and instructions. Before you use the pen, it's important to have clean hands, uh, wash your hands with soap and water or use hand sanitizer. This box contains the pen and has uh, some slots for pen needles and a spare insulin cartridge. You open the lid and you can see a, a cartridge holder and a, an insulin dosing window. This is where you dial up your insulin dose. Every number is one unit of insulin. You can dial up by one unit and every click is one unit. Every line indicates one unit. If you dial too many, you can dial back. To load a new cartridge, you first uh, inspect the insulin. Basaglar is a clear insulin, so make sure it's clear and there's no lumps and discoloration. There's an expiry date written on the bottom of the valve. Uh, make sure that's in date. You then unscrew the pin and insert the cartridge into the cartridge holder and screw it up again as tightly as possible. You then put a needle on and this is a four millimeter needle. It's the smallest or shortest available. You take the paper off and screw screw it onto the end of the pin. Then you take the outer cap and the inner cap off. You then do what we call a nair shot. And to do that, you dial up two units and hold the pin up towards the ceiling and push the insertion button all the way up. Uh, you need to observe a drop coming out of the needle. If you don't do, can't see a drop, you need to dial up more units until it, that drop is visible. This might need to be done several times when you open a new cartridge. Before you inject, choose your in injection site. Uh, it is recommended to use the stomach or the buttocks or the outer thigh. And it's important to rotate within this, these sides or between sides, as if you inject in the same spot, you can get lumps under the skin and injecting into lumps uh, can result in the insulin not working properly. Now you can dial the dose recommended by your doctor. In this case, I'm dialing up six units. One, two, three, four, five, six. To inject, I hold the pen like a fist and inject at the 90 degree angle. I'm using this injection pillow to demonstrate. Most people and kids don't need to pinch up, but some space limb children and uh, adults may need a little pinch. Use your thumb and index finger to pinch up the skin. And then you inject. Use your thumb to push the injection button all the way down. And before you take the needle out, count to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 
remove the needle and that is your injection done. You can now recap the needle with the outer cap. It's not recommended to use the smaller cap as it could cause injury to yourself. Unscrew the needle and put it in a safe container with, with, with the lid and dispose of it safely as recommended by your health professional. You then close the lid to keep it nice and clean. You can now use it again next time and again do the two units air shot each time before you dial up your actual dose that you need. Uh, you can see how much insulin is left in this uh, plunger that will move up as you use up the insulin. The cartridge contains 300 units so you can use it uh, multiple times. You can store this uh, pen at room temperature for up to a month. The insulin that you don't use, the cartridges that you don't use, you keep in the fridge or in a cold place where you store all the other insulin.